Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com. Here with your free pick in the Ohio State versus Iowa college football matchup on Saturday, October 5th, 2024. Of course, it's my favorite day of the week during my favorite time of the year, college football Saturday. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Just go to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. We've also got a link directly below this video in the description. If you make bigger bets and you have a big bankroll looking for a VIP type experience, we offer that as well. For that, you just have to text the number that you see on the screen. But keep in mind, these are our most expensive premium packages and they're only long-term packages. So if that's what you're looking for, by all means, text that number. But let's get to it. We've got Ohio State taking on Iowa. It's a Big Ten college football matchup. Ohio State, a perfect 4-0 to start the season. This is their this is their third home game. Um after uh, winning last week at Michigan State, their uh, first road game of the season. Meanwhile, uh, Iowa, 3-1 and one on the year. Their only loss, that was at home against Iowa State. Lost by a point to their rivals, 20-19. Of course, uh, last time out we saw them was a couple weeks ago. That was at Minnesota, where they dominated that one on the road for their first road win of the year, the first road game of the year. But, you know, the thing is, is like, you know, if you watched last week's Ohio State-Michigan State game like I did, and I had Michigan State in that one with the points, and yeah, I lost. But I think what we saw in that game was that, you know, Ohio State just made plays, and that's really all it came down to is they made more plays. They had the one-handed catches. They had the fourth downs and inch stops. They had, you know, the fumbles by Michigan State deep in Ohio State uh territory when they were ready you know when Michigan State was ready to put points on the board um you know Ohio State forced the turnovers and got them I mean you don't usually see that many things happen that that much in one game but uh, we certainly saw it in that one and I think a lot of it you know we can say Michigan State messed up a lot of that stuff and they did but you know at the same time Ohio State was presented with opportunities and took advantage of it so we can't take that away from them the Iowa offense is still a problem, and you know, even though they scored 31 last time we saw them, you know, I, I think that they certainly have some issues here. The rushing attack has been decent, um, six yards per carry is 13th best in the nation. But you look at these passing statistics, and they are pretty hideous. 124th in the nation in passing yards per game, um, 100th in completions per game at a, at just 16.2. But in completion percentage, 63.1 is middle of the pack. But the Ohio State defense, number two overall in the nation. Of course, they have played a super soft schedule with a lot of those home games. So a lot of these numbers, you know, are a little bit inflated. Third best in yards per rush against. And, you know, not against nearly the competition that they're going to face here. Of course, against Michigan State was a step up in competition, but not quite to this level. But against the pass, just really, really stout. And you got to figure Ohio State's been up a lot. So other teams have really gone to the pass again. So and Ohio State has turned them away time and time again. Ohio State's been super effective rushing the football. Of course, they have NFL caliber wide receivers across the board. So the passing game, even though I don't love the quarterback play from Howard, and I'm not so sure he's a guy that can get you across the finish line. He's, you know, when you have those kind of wide receivers, they can pretty much make anybody look pretty good. The Iowa run defense has been very, very strong, allowing just 62 yards per game. But the pass defense certainly has looked somewhat vulnerable, allowing 210 per game. I just think in this game, you know, while I think Iowa certainly presents some challenges here to Ohio State that Ohio State hasn't seen this season, and I'm not a big believer in this Buckeyes team. I just don't think Iowa has enough on both sides of the ball, which, I, you know, I think Ohio State's a good team, but I think they're vulnerable against a balanced team that at least has a good offense and a good defense. Iowa's got a really good defense. They have not very good offense. They can run the football. They can't pass at all. One-dimensional against Ohio State on the road in the horseshoe. Going to be a bad day. I'm going to take Ohio State, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.